Hello, Professor Matthew Rotella here, and we're back, and we're UV unwrapping still. And uh, before I UV unwrapped the body of this acoustic guitar, now I'm going to unwrap the neck. And same as before, this is going to be rather uh, freeform, as it were. And I'm just going to kind of go, and whatever happens, happens. I'm just going to try and get some good UVs going, and you can see how I do it. Um, Alright, so, um, first of all, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to try and figure out like what pieces can be pieces by looking at the seams on the, the natural, uh, the naturally occurring, occurring seams on your model and try and figure out what can be pieced out into different UV shells. So like I see I got a line here, uh, that's some good news, I can see I got a piece interrupting my other piece up here uh, so that means I can hide some seams back there or I can uh, cut this off into its own separate thing and I want to look for pieces that are going to need to stay relatively together like I can see this wood runs as all one piece so I'm going to want to try and uh, keep that as its own shell for the most part but then I can see also on the bottom that this is a different texture so I can cut that into its own shell, which will help me uh, uh, turn this into uh, a shape that the computer can sort of uh, understand when it goes to unfold something. So basically to unfold something while getting the least distortion, uh, which I'll hide everything but the neck, so we can just focus on the neck. Uh, and you got to think about where your seams can go and uh, what you can do to just get a nice clean unfold. Now to get at the base of things which uh, I'll do like this. Uh, Alright, UV, I'll bring up my UV editor and let's start doing some things let's see I'll get I'll get these default UVs out of the way which I could just delete my UVs for the object at the uh, at the start so that these would be out of the way but it can be good to sort of leave them so as you cut it up uh, the, the resulting uh, leftover shell can help you make certain selections as you work, so I like to keep it, but uh, you can just delete it anyway. Regardless, let's get a move on. I should have my uh, utility texture from last time that I can throw on here uh, so I can see how my uh, distortions are going and some such. And, oh, me, this one. Okay, now let's get my hypershade out of the way and let's start making some cuts so first of all what I'm going to want to do is I believe I'm going to want to get all of this top flat part together so I'll get that edge loop there and I'm just holding down tab to uh, drag to select things and I'm going to get all of this and that's all selected I'm going to press 4 so I can get a look around make sure I don't have any auxiliary things projected. And, uh, alright. Now I'm going to want to make seams uh, and unfold this. So, uh, to project, I, I, I'm just going to do a planner from, I'm going to make sure it's Y so I get a top down projection because that's going to basically give me the a pretty decent angle to start with 
of the UVs that I want to work with. So I'll just hit project. And now before I unfold this, because uh, if I just unfold this to begin with, these edges here, the corners, it's not it. It, it's not, it's gonna have a hard time figuring out how to squeeze all of these top faces uh, that we got here uh, in towards the center so that it can unfold the edges. So to make it be able to more cleanly unfold these edges, we just got to. Uh, you can think of the same way as if this were like a, a singular piece of paper, and if you wanted to unfold that paper. So basically, if I select that edge there and I start cutting so I can cut UV cut that there there and just go around cut and uh, cut now again if I look at my UV shell this is a relatively a, a clean cube and when I hit unfold what should happen is it should let the the sides sort of uh, unfold outwards like wings and that's what's going to happen to the sides top and bottom um, so now with that UV shell selected if I hit unfold it does do exactly that if I move it outwards uh, you can see like here, like this is the bottom, it has sort of, yeah, unfolded outwards like wings, and similarly for the sides, uh, it has happened there as well. Now I mentioned before that this can be its own shell, so I'm going to make my own projection of that. Uh, UV, let's do the same thing, planner, get a planner projection, and uh, let's see, uh, I can see from my test texture that these are getting distorted, so I can scale things so that these become more square, yeah, I have less distortion, and now I can scale this whole bit down because this doesn't need to be a very big piece at all. I'm going to end up scaling it down smaller later, but uh, that can function. Alright, now one of the bigger questions is uh, unfolding all of this wood onto something that can uh, unfold to have what appears to be a relatively smooth flow going around. So what I'm going to try and do is do the same thing here but have it so that everything can have flatten and unfold in a way that I can work with. We'll see what happens. I might have to put some seams here at the top corners that I don't necessarily want to, but uh, I'll see what I can work with. Uh, regardless, I know for a fact that I can put seems in here because that's going to be hidden this whole face is going to be hidden behind my acoustic guitar body so this no longer needs to be connected to it by any means so that should help free it up some and now and perhaps I'm actually gonna want this entire top
top face of my acoustic guitar head. To be its own shell so I can map things onto that relatively easily. So I can do the same thing. Planner, project, oop, uh, shoot, I didn't do that right. I got a little bit ahead of myself. I wanted to do cut so that I could go into UV shell selection mode and just select this entire shell and then do planner and then I could have uh, hit uh, unfold or unfold along maybe uh, it's going re relatively in U so I could try unfold along U and I can see that that gives me uh, some pretty low distortion there and uh, I have a good shell for that top part of the head of the guitar which could be rather handy for mapping things like this design here in the center and this logo on top we don't want any distortion in the logo that's for sure and alright back to solving this issue here and I might end up having to figure out something out later uh, as far as a better solution but probably my best bet just looking at it would be to make a cut here and at the opposite side on the head that way it can rather cleanly unfold and I can have this entire bottom and sides as one shell which keeping uh, your distortion low and uh, yeah, keep, keeping your distortion low and your And uh, reducing the amount of seams you have really is going to end up being the ultimate challenge when it comes to UV unwrapping things. But I'm go for it and uh, let's see what we're working with. Uh, UV, I'm just going to hit it with uh, the planer again from the top. And I'm going to get a rather wonky shape, but that's okay. And now I want to make those cuts at the edges that I said over these corners. I mean, technically the top of this should look different anyway. But this is also why it's a good idea to make sure that your model looks relatively how you want it before you uh, smooth things. Because if you just have something that's UV unwrapped and then you just go and toss it in the smooth preview, you're almost definitely going to see some texture stretching. Um, so like if you are going to be smoothing something, um, it can be a good idea to like UV unwrap it in sort of like a high poly state so that it can end up working out well. Anyway, um, we shall. All right. So I have my two seams placed, and now let's just try unfolding this. I'll hit unfold, and let's see what happens. Alright, so like this sort of bent, but let's see how our distortion's looking. Uh, it's just looking a bit regular. But regular is good. It looks like we're definitely stretching. Now let's see. Yeah, we're definitely stretching. So to reduce said stretching, I can scale this up like that. And that looks pretty good. 
I'm gonna say. Uh, we have a few little squiggly bits, but with a texture, it's a little. This is definitely not good right here. Uh, scale this back down. No, I'll leave it for right now. Let me see. These faces. These are the ones that are giving us the headache. What I could try doing is I could select these here, this whole region. We'll try. Mm. Try to get a little symmetrical selection there. Uh, I'm going to use my this to unfold things into a shape we're getting a bit squiggly to say the least um, let's try just having those selected and hitting optimize and that reduces things a little bit which I can also use my unfold paint and see if that can there we go, that's helping reduce my distortion going around there and optimize is really for uh, untangling things use this optimize so I can sort of untangle my UVs there and any UVs that you don't want to be moving uh, you can pin them down using your pinning tools I'm, not, I'm just not going to be too concerned about that right now let's swing around to the other side and do a similar bit of work and Still get, we get a little bit a little bit squiggly, but uh, for being able to keep this as all one shell, it's not too bad. It might be pretty, and for something like wood grain, getting a little bit squiggly shouldn't be too noticeable. So this is likely decently undistorted man, and with that, that should complete making all of these shells which uh, now uh, just it's time to start distributing them and Aligning all of them, and hit, and hit gather shells, and that will gather all my shells together without stacking them on top of each other so well. And I can even try using the uh, uh, layout 
and it'll just automatically lay them all out for me. But, uh, well, for the neck, that will pretty much maximize the texture space for the neck, uh, well, for that piece, that last piece that we just made. But we can make some of these bigger. We want to try and figure out how we can use our space best we can. The head will be a pretty important one, uh, which I could get more space out of it by aligning this vertically. And I can use my orient to help me orient it more perfectly vertically. And scale that bad boy up. Can use my normalize tool, normalize this piece right here in V to make it fit perfectly, touching the edges of my shell in V, and then this can take up a relatively large portion, and then lastly we got this piece here that can take up a decent spot, and I think I want to flip this so I can in fact just uh, just go ahead and flip it in U that way I can line this up a little bit better along the edge to maximize that sort of space and lastly what are we working with we should just have this shell in here, uh, which I can unfold and then scale down And this can be pretty dang small because this is these are all faces that don't get seen, so to make the most of things I can sort of place it like that. Now um, and to give myself a little these are basically as big as they can be. Now to just give myself a little bit of room to work with. There we go. And uh, that should basically do it for the neck. I don't have much of a test texture to throw on the neck. But, uh, it's looking reasonably good. You can see we have some curvature here, but again, with something like wood grain, that shouldn't be too noticeable. Uh, okay. So I'll call that that. I uh, hope you learned something in the process of all that, and, uh, you have a good day, night, week, whatever. Uh, signing off.